So you're looking for a DJ record pool, but you don't want to spend the money up front only to find out that the DJ record pool isn't for you. That's where I come in. I'm going to help you out today. We're going to be looking at directmusicservice.com. What's going on guys, it's Cadence here. Today we're gonna to be going over the ever popular DJ record pool, directmusicservice.com or DMS for short. You can find the link to the record pool in the description below. We're gonna be looking at the good, the bad and the ugly. And then by the end, knowing whether this is a DJ pool that's worth a subscription to or not, let's head on over to the workstation and check it out. Okay, so here we are, DMS is loaded up. And before we continue, I just wanna let you know all the opinions in this video are of my own. I'm in no way sponsored by Direct Music Service. I just wanna help you make a better decision when you're considering maybe using their services. So I already have a sub, obviously I would need one to make this video, but to show you all the options that they have, I'm gonna click on join. They have a little promotional video here. And here are their subscription packages. You would fill out this form here and probably within a day or two, they get back to you and have hopefully decided that, yeah, you're in. You're in the DJ pool and you can start using their services then. Their starter plan is monthly, about $30. It gets you 40 downloads, or you can pay yearly and get a 25% discount. They also have a semi-pro plan, about $45 a month. It gives you 80 downloads, and their yearly plan on that will give you a 33% discount. Or they have the pro plan, which is $65 in a month, and it gives you unlimited downloads. Again, a yearly plan with a 43% discount. I personally wouldn't probably do either one of these um i would stick to the 30 dollars. i could probably get two record pool subscriptions for the price of that and maybe get a lot more options but really i mean it's up to you I think the 40 downloads a month is plenty, but maybe if you're a starting DJ and you need to build a library quickly, that might be something to consider that you'd only be able to download 40 tracks a month um, where that first couple months you'll be wanting to acquire music at a rapid pace. And then we have this cute little picture of Jazzy Jeff with a Love to DJ t-shirt. How cute. All right, here we are on the login page. I'm just gonna log in. And you'll see that I have 176 downloads remaining. Why is that? Because your downloads do carry over month to month, which is great. That's a good thing. You want that because otherwise you'll just be downloading a bunch of stuff that you don't even want or need because you don't want to waste the credits that you have. So I think that's great. Um, they carry over month to month. I'm going to go through now each section of the site and get give you an idea of what it's like. So first off, I do like the UI and layout of the site. It's nice and clean, which to me is very important. If you're going to be spending a lot of time downloading music and looking at the screen, visual appeal is just it's just nice. It's just nice, clean, easy to find. It looks like as you log in, it automatically goes to new releases. These are today's date as I am recording this. So new releases, obviously, you'll have your song. Uh, the editor on the website that made this, the BPM, uh, you can play it or you can download it or you can probably save it. Going down to exclusives are going to be any song that you can exclusively only find at BMS. Not song, but edits. Most record pools will have their own editors that work for that record pool, making their own remixes, redrums, blends, uh, just any kind of edit. You'll find only these edits on direct music service. Going to custom search. What I love about DMS is their custom search options. Say I'm looking for a house track that's an acapella out. Uh, only in 2010s and I don't want anything faster than 130. Go. These are all acapella outs. They are all 
lower than 130 in the electronic music genre and it's a pretty nice feature the search feature is really good on dms going down to top downloads you're going to have another search bar pop up you can have all genres last week last three months last month last six months let's see the all genres top downloads of the last three months and there they are it's very fast very easy to find what's trending on this site the only thing i wish dms had was right here uh let's have this one best friend by sweetie and doja cat here's the dirty version they probably have the clean version somewhere down here there it is there it is if i could have those together like best friend by sweetie is number three have the clean and dirty version together i don't like having to um you know look at the top downloads and having this I, I oh there's that song but then having to search for the clean version if i need that clock that song and clean for whatever reason or use two of my downloads to get both things if you only have 40 downloads a month it would be nice that at least i'd be able to download the clean and dirty version and only use one credit that would be nice of course you can narrow it down if you only want R&B tracks um, in the last month you can hit go and once again it'll show you all the R&B tracks downloaded within the last month. Lastly we have decades also another feature that I love about DMS you can literally just hit 2000s 90s 80s all the way down to the 50s and they'll have songs in those it, they have a crazy large music collection if i go to 2010s scroll down scroll down scroll down and i go to the oldest 154 of these long pages it's really nice to have they have a really large music collection again i just wish that it had clean and dirty right on top of each other have the short edit in there the super short edit um remixes can always be separate but then again you should have the clean version of that remix the dirty version of that remix everything should be together that's the only thing i don't like so far what's really cool about the search feature as well if i want something just from 2003 everything's here from 2003 i'll say added but the year here these are all releases in 2003 they were just added to the site during this time and it'll show up here as they were added what i really like about the genre section here is that i can click on a genre and nothing but that genre will come up now you'll see i clicked on pop which is blue and all these reds are coming up that's just because it also falls under house edm but it's a pop track probably remixed as a house edm track no big deal you can find pop you click on pop you'll find all pop tracks whether they're remixes or not you click on hip-hop same thing you'll have all hip-hop and if you do see red you look here red edm it's just a edm remix of a hip-hop track another function of this genres area is that they're color coded so if i'm in new releases and i'm searching for say hip-hop tracks i'm just gonna keep my eyes out for any green tracks and sure enough i can find them easily i know these are hip-hop green it's right there ready to go you don't have to look at every name um or of the artist or bpm you can see green blue pop if i'm looking for a house edm i just scroll down until i hit red there's some house and edm i really like that color coding it's awesome i just come here figure out what i want come back over here and go find it lastly in this genres area down here is dj tools where you'll be able to find hype edits transitions uh loops scratch samples everything right here you can easily find so if you're looking for just loops there we are a bunch of acapella loops everything's right there easy to find 
That's pretty much it for the music section of the site. The library is very large, but of course, not every DJ pool is going to have everything. Actually, no DJ pool is going to have everything. So keep in mind, sure, there'll be some tracks that you put in that search bar and they don't have. It's, it's just the way it is. Not a single DJ pool is going to have every song. Another great feature about DMS is playlists. And playlists, think of them as like little CDs worth of music that have been curated for you. So in 2000 Hip Hop Classics, you'll find about a CD's worth of 2000s Hip Hop Classics. It's not going to be a huge selection, but it's gonna be a great selection. If you click on, let's say, DJ Scenes, he's gonna, it, these are these are tracks that DJ Scene has picked out to put onto this playlist. It's a great little feature. It's updated not as often as the music. The music they update about five times a week. The um, cur curated playlist, not so much. Next, you have blogs. They're basically your normal blog, except for they're all about DJing, the music scene, the music industry whatever you can read more a lot of these like go on to youtube videos stuff but it's you know another curated piece of content that uh dms has put together so blog it just brings you back to the loading screen you started on the blog so kind of redundant but then shop of course they have their own shop you can buy some merch they have some pretty quality stuff I've seen some, I've never owned it myself, but I've seen it in person and it, it looks pretty good quality. I've seen little, literally this uh, shirt, that hat, that's that's it though. And lastly is help, a little Q&A section with a way for you to contact them if you have any issues along with their socials down here. Pretty simple. Lastly, I don't know if you've caught it, but at the bottom, you can request an edit or you can submit an edit. Really cool feature about DMS that I like. I wish the submit and edit part was more open. Um, Club Killers did a really good job with their make the cut area. If you're familiar with Club Killers and being able to submit an edit on that site, they did a really good job. Um, I wish DMS would incorporate something like that. Other than that, just have the tracks clean, dirty, short edit, super short edit, extended mix, whatever, have those together. That would make everything a lot easier for the user. And that's pretty much it. DMS in a nutshell. I'm gonna have the link in the description to the record pool. If there's something I miss, please hit up the comment section. Let me know. You'll be helping out other DJs. You'll be helping out me. Also, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.